Hello and welcome back to the Royal Australian Mint School Tour. If you haven't seen any of our last videos, I'd make sure to go back and watch those first. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the treasures of our national collection. And I'm not talking about me. We're talking about these four coins in front of me. One of the, the most important coins in Australian history is this one just here. This is an eight real or a Spanish dollar from Spain. These became a staple of world trade and we used them quite a bit in the early days of Australian colonial history. We decided that we were gonna try and solve coin shortage problems by proclaiming a value to every single different sort of coin within the colony. So this Spanish dollar, that would have been worth five shillings. This half Johanna from Portugal would have been worth two pounds. And this one here, this is a teensy tiny pagoda from India that would have been worth eight shillings. Proclaiming the values to the coins worked for a little while. It was good until people kind of got a little bit confused by it. If they didn't have all the different sorts of coins, how they, were they going to trade? What they decided to do was they were going to grab big knives and they were going to chop all their coins up into little pizza slices. This is one fifth of one of our Spanish dollars. And that was okay for a little bit until of course people started getting confused. These items were easy to forge, which meant you could make fake ones. And people also didn't know whether or not they were pure silver or if someone had stuck another sort of metal in there. So we got to a point where we decided we were gonna trade with something completely different. And that something lives in this flask. Does anybody know what's in the flask? Yes, no, maybe. Rum, like the alcohol. The soldiers and sailors started to use rum as an unofficial currency, and that made them all really quite happy. But I think you can all imagine why that isn't very sustainable. So we ended up running back home to Britain and asking them very, very nicely for some coins. Join us next time as we talk about Australia's journey towards our famed holy dollar and dump. 